Hi guys, how's it going out there? Hope you're all well. So uh, what I want to do is, I just want to describe my, ne my next little project I've got going on. I put this on hold uh, last year, well earlier this year, as the summer arrived, but uh, now winter's here and I'm going to be spending more time in the shed, I'm going to kick off on this project. It's a vortex rocket or a V rocket which is a, has a vortex in the riser tube and um, what I'm what I'm building this for is for use in my own how in my own home um, it's going to heat the hot water it's going to heat the radiators around the house some underfloor heating and the problem I've got with my present stove which is a fantastic stove it puts too much heat into the rooms and not enough heat into the water so to get to try and get enough heat into the water you're having to really put a lot of timber through the stove um, which is in turn making the rooms too warm and the radiators in rooms you're not sat in uh, not warm enough if you know what I mean so it's not it's not putting enough heat into the boiler should I say to fire up the underfloor heating in other rooms and to say heat the bedrooms and that although the room the room it's in the living room is too hot so I'm, I want to try and reverse that put more heat into the boiler and less heat into the room so my idea is uh, to have a conventional looking stove with a split around the and this side will have the riser tube in. This side will be the burn chamber, which will have a glass door. So you can actually see the fuel burning, if you like. Because um, I just don't want to look at a blank plate. So I want a nice big door on there so I can see the fuel burning. The entrance to the riser will be at the bottom of this chamber. So the flames will go in and it will rise down on this side. I will have air control in this side um, and I will have a glass air wash system running in on that door to keep the door clean. The boiler in this will be a wrap around like so. So this section will be water jacket the water jacket will extend down the front somewhat as well um, and I'm going to put another door on here just for access into the burn chamber that door will be closed up I'm, I don't think it's worth putting glass on this because it's going to get sooted up and filthy in there so th there's really no point putting a glass door in there you'd just be forever cleaning it so I, f I forgot that, I, th I thought about it but I just dismissed that, it was a waste of time. Right, the outlet, the flue outlet will be on top of the stove rather than out the back or at the bottom because I want to try and drag, as, as I say, I want to try and drag as much heat as I can into the boiler. So if you're looking at the stove from that side internally you're going to have your rocket your riser tube running up in that chamber the water jacket will be coming down like that it will be like that and it will extend down to the bottom there And it will obviously also be right down this side there and right down the far end there, okay? So the gases are going to come up, they're going to come down, they're going to swirl around here and they're going to exit with a gap at the bottom of the boiler, of the water jacket, sorry. They're going to come down here and they're going to go up behind the water jacket. They're going to travel up and come out and exit via the flue there. So that means the boiler is getting plenty of heat on this side, the water jacket is getting plenty of heat on this side, 
but it's also getting another warming on the back side as the heat and exits because as you know normally you, you rock it your, um, your flue exit would be just at the bottom so you'd get your you get your heat coming off your rocket off your riser tube and then you, your exhaust gases and heat would go out simply go out there by sticking the flue at the top I'm just extending really I'm just dragging a bit more heat out of any remaining gases that are exiting from behind the boiler so uh, hopefully draw a bit more into the boiler now this will um, this will still throw out a fair amount of heat because you'll have the residual heat coming from the boiler on the front you'll have the heat coming from that plate and you will have the heat coming from the burn chamber through the glass and, that, and I think that is more than enough than I, that I'm going to need I will have air control on, on all this to give it some kind of control right the next my next thing is I know there's going to probably going to be quite a bit of condensation building up in here because I found that on my other experiments and you I know from my experiments you've got to get this riser tube hot so this is why I'm not going to go ahead and build this straight off I'm going to build a mock-up or a mark one if you like um, just to try out a few different things I don't know whether the this water jacket should be say an inch two inch three inch I, I'm, I'm really not sure on that um, I've been told that well I know that the the smaller the jacket in volume the quicker it will heat up but because of that you're then going to have to have a pump pumping water around all the time with a bigger jacket if it takes a bit longer to heat up the it, it can rise and fall in the system you know naturally so that the heat rises up the pipes it goes around the coil in the cylinder and the cold water is pushed down so the whole system circulates but with a thinner smaller jacket it's going to get so hot so quick that it's going to be boiling in here before it's had chance to move itself around naturally so it will have to be pumped um, it's just something I'm going to have to play around with and find out because I don't know how efficient I do know how efficiently this rocket is going to heat the boiler but uh, I don't know really what thickness of jacket to build so I maybe I also maybe because that's going to get quite a lot of stick obviously that that boiler section there so I may beef up that section of boiler I'll just, just start another page here um, I may beef up that section of boiler just to take the stick it's going to get uh, from the rocket stove and from all the heat so I may put another plate on there thicker plate or I may put like a cowl on top of there with a plate on top of that so that just with a couple of you know three say three or four arms just holding that up so that the heat comes up it hits that baffle and then rises down so the heat in the chamber rising naturally will come into the boiler these are things I want to play around with um, so we'll see I'll buy up I'll buy the steel in the next week and I'll start welding up and I'll see how it goes obviously I'll keep you informed and I'll try and document as much of it as I can and I'll try and video of it as, as much as I can but we'll certainly uh, video the first test burn on it and uh, we'll see how it goes okay guys thanks for your time and uh, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next vid bye for now